Okay, just a few days left to complete all 12 to get the free access code. Almost there. Okay, let's see what assignments we have today. Okay, click on the bottom right to see what new assignments there are. You might have to wait a while for it to load. Okay, once it's loaded, just uh, click the route and go. That will bring you to the customer. Click on the exclamation mark to talk to the customer. Just click through the next, read through the conversation and click next. So it's something to do with uh, security. re access. So adjusting different uh, permissions. Okay, so once you accept the assignment, it will bring you to the solution center. So click on that. Okay, so on this page, the on the diagram, you can click on the arrow to cycle through the different uh, aspects of the assignment. Okay, you can click on the left video concepts to go through the videos related to this assignment. I'll pause the video here, then I'll resume when I've done with the videos. Okay, so the takeaway from for me is that it is a shared responsibility model. So what happens is uh, it's a shared responsibility, right? So AWS is responsible for security of the cloud. So that's all the infrastructure and the physical stuff. And then the customer, which is the user, is responsible for what happens in the cloud. So all the stuff that goes on the cloud, that's the user's responsibility. Okay, so once you're done with the videos, then you can click the X on the top right to get back to the page where you can click at the bottom right, plan. That's the next phase for practice. So this is the practice lab and the DIY. So that's the two sections. Click on the practice at the bottom right. So you click on the start lab to launch the instance. So you can click on the open AWS console that will launch a new tab. Okay, then uh, so there'll be two tabs. So you can step through the different steps here. Okay, step two, we'll look for IAM in the search box. Click on it. Then step two, okay, now we are step three. Click on the user group and create a new group. And left user group. And then on the top right, the blue button, create group. Okay, next step, step four. Type support engineers and then scroll down. Okay, we'll scroll down. Okay, next step, step five. Under attach permissions policy. Attach permission policies, we will search for Amazon EC2 read only. EC2 read only access. Okay, so once we have typed 
that you press enter okay then you select by checking the box and then click click create okay the group has been created next step step six left side click on users add user users top right the blue button add users then next step step seven type the box support dash engineer one then we'll click access key password and then custom password support password exclamation mark one two three let's show the password okay we typed it correctly click on the box to uncheck it okay so this is unchecked and we can go to next permissions there's the blue button here okay the next step step eight set permissions okay, under the set permission choose add user to group so that's the first box here then we choose the support engineers group then we make sure that's the policy that's attached and we click next for the tags okay the next step step nine under the key job dash title the value will be support engineer then we click next review okay there'll be step 10 review the details okay matches the screenshot here review that the tag is created job title and then the group is support engineers okay looks correct then we click create user then we go to the next step step 11 copy the access link and click close so we copy this and okay we can click close after copying the link the next step step 12 open a new browser then paste the link that we copied okay they advise us to open the private browsing window okay so we got our private browsing window and then you paste the link we copied so the account id has been populated based on the link username support engineer one the password is support password exclamation mark one two three click on sign in
Okay, the next step. Step 13. Uh, okay, so... New console. Okay, let's try the new console. Okay, so you search for EC2. Then... Next step. Step 14. Okay, step 14 is click the region. The region is from the drop down. We select US East dash one. Okay, next step, step 15. Click instances bracket running. Then next step, step 16. Choose the web server instance. Then we can click the instant state terminate. Next step step 17 confirm to terminate. Then next step you cannot delete an instance due to user permission. Okay, so that matches what we see in our private browsing tab. Okay, next step. So I think we need to edit the permissions. Okay, so next step, we go to the DIY section. There'll be the button here. Okay, so the DIY activity is to grant the support engineers group Read only access to RTS. Okay, let's see. So let's go to our management console. That's the IAM. Okay, let's just uh, validate the user group. So that's our support engineer so we validate so it's just a good practice to check to make sure it's uh, erroring out so this is what we need to fix we need to change the access for these two expected uh, AWS EC2 read only access and AWS, eh, Amazon RDS read only access. Okay, so I think the first one is already set. Amazon EC2 read only. So what we need is the RDS. Okay, so the group. So we need to go to the support engineers group. So maybe you can click here under the group section. Under permissions, there is a EC2 read only. So the other one is Amazon RDS read only access. Okay, enter to search for that. Nothing found. Amazon read RDS. Okay, what's wrong? Okay, 
let's search for RDS maybe. Okay, so I think this is what we need. AW Amazon RDS read only. So we check and then click add permissions. Okay, so now, now our support engineers user group has these two policies. Then we go back to the Cloud Quest tab and click validate. Okay, all green. So we have granted the correct permissions. And now we can go back to the city to submit the assignment. So click on the exit at the bottom right. Okay, so back in the city, click on the exclamation mark to talk to the customer to deliver the assignment. Okay, then uh, click the next button. Then we can choose what we want. Let's choose the one with the helipad. Collect. Okay, so that's our new building with the helipad. And that was the core security concepts assignment so we got three left to go for the free ss code okay click on the x to go back and i leveled up builder level increased neighborhood level up Okay, hope you found this video useful. Subscribe and turn on the notification to for upcoming videos.